Step 3 is access sequence. What is an access sequence? The sequence in which the condition tables need to be accessed. To understand this, let's complicate the problem. Say there is a base price, which means the material costs $500 without any com other complications. But if you sell it to a government, it costs you so much. If you sell it to a reseller, it's going to cost you so much, so on and so forth. Similarly, you could complicate it further. The same material if you're selling to corporate through a distributor, this is the distribution channel. You can sell directly to a corporate, the price is 350. But if you are selling direct to a corporate, it's 300. This right here is not a customer group. This is the distribution channel, enterprise structure element not customer group. How can we configure this? In this case, we will be creating two condition tables. One based on customer group and material and the other is material plus customer group plus distribution channel. The distribution channel will be one of the parameters in the field catalog. So you pick this this and this, you create two condition tables. So two condition tables, one with material customer group and second material customer group and distribution channel combination. The next question becomes, which one do you prefer first? The first table or the second? Typically, the more involved the scenario is, the higher the preference. If it fails, you default to this. An access sequence does exactly this. This is condition table 1. This is condition table 2. 2 will be given first preference and if 2 fails, meaning if you're not selling via a distributor or a direct, then default to one. So an access sequence is the sequence in which the condition tables are accessed. As an SD consultant, based on the business requirements, you configure the sequence in which the condition tables will be accessed.